Hello YouTube and hello Tumblr. This is Scales Tales here and I'm going to do a video about one of my mouse enclosures. Now this isn't going to be a video about their their care, like an in-depth thing about their care, just about one of the cages that I have. So this is for one of my male mice, um, just a lone male mouse. So for one or two mice you want to have a cage with about 360 square inches of floor space. Now to get your um, uh, square inches of floor space, all you need to do is measure the length of a cage, just like this, and the depth of a cage. So you multiply those together and then you have the square inches. So if this is a, uh, I think this is a 30 inch by like I think 18 inches or something along those lines. You just multiply that and you get the square inches. So 20 gallon long has 30, 360 square inches so it gives them an okay amount of space. You could always go larger with mice. Um, a lot of people underestimate cage size for mice and hamsters and small mammals. They really are very very active and they need a lot of stuff to do. So I do have him in a glass aquarium, which is safe for small mammals, but definitely not for rats. Rats cannot be in glass cages at any point in time, but mice, gerbils, and hamsters can. So this is little Moo Cow. He's running around. I just cleaned his cage so he gets to run around in his ball. Um, I do use Aspen wood shavings, which are cheap. Um, they are efficient and you get a lot in a bag. There are a few downsides of wood shavings. A lot of people are allergic to them. Some mice can have sensitivities to them. And you have to make sure that you are using um, aspen wood shavings and never cedar or pine. Cedar, cedar contains phenols, which will cause respiratory infections in small mammals. Pine, really dusty. I've read some really bad things about it being very similar to cedar. Not as bad, but it's still definitely something not something I would recommend at all. Um, Obviously, you could go the route of using paper-based beddings like Carefresh. Um, that's usually a lot better, but it's been my experience that a lot of the Carefresh is actually dustier, but that's just me. Maybe I'm judging it wrong. I don't know. But I prefer to use the wood shavings. Um, so we've also got a lot of little hides in here for him. I've got three different hides. I have a plastic one. Um, those are nice because they're reusable. You can clean them and everything, but I don't really like the way they look very much. So I have two little naturalistic hides in here. One is made from, I don't know, some sort of hay or straw. I think it's hay. And we have one made of wood, and those need to be replaced periodically because as a mouse, he does pee kind of everywhere. Then I have some Timothy hay in there for um, fiber. Um, it's very good for them to eat extra things, not just their regular little diet. So over here I have kind of what I feed them. So I have Timothy hay, which is uh, got a fairly normal protein level to it, so it's not too high in protein. Um, so it's perfect for like everyday feeding, whereas alfalfa or something you would want to offer maybe a couple times a week rather than an everyday thing. They also like to nest in that, which is nice. Um, I have this sun seed stuff, which is awesome. It's a bunch of dehydrated vegetables, like carrots, sweet potato, peas, stuff like that. It's got like pumpkin seeds and just fun stuff. And that's a treat only. That's not a, a diet for them, but it's a good treat thing for them. And for my mice, I also feed them a mix of seed, uh, like a seed mix and blocks. So what is good for one mouse may not be good for another mouse. And there are uh, pros and cons to doing just lab blocks or doing just seed mixes. So it really depends on what works for you or what works for your mice, really. Um, so I use the Sunseed brand um, mouse and rat seed mix mixed in with some, I think this brand is called Lab Diet Mouse Diet. I don't know. Um, lab Diet brand mouse diet. I don't know. It's a really good lab block. Um, we, we feed it to our feeders at work and it's really, I've seen the uh, ingredients list and everything and it's really good. Um, I buy it out of the bulk bins that we have at work, which is nice. So that's, I feed my guys a mix of that. You can see that right over here. Oh, it's dark, but he has a mix of that. And they actually, with seed mixes, one of the biggest drawbacks is they may just pick out the pieces that they like and leave everything else, which is obviously really bad for them. But um, my guys tend to eat things fairly evenly, and they really enjoy the lab blocks, which is good. I'm glad that they actually eat them first. Um, we also have some vegetables in here, which is great for them. Mice should have vegetables. You can give them every day. Usually you want to do smaller portions than this. Um, you want the portion to be about the size of their head, but eh, I'm a little lazy with that. Um, I give my guys my uh, vegetables once or twice a week. Um, along with their like normal treats and stuff like that. So I also give them like commercial treats. Um, this one is uh, herbs and hay. It's called a brand called Stickles. Um, not sure they have them in the US really. It's mostly a European thing, but those are really cool. But you can give them most things. You just want to stay away from things like yogis, way too much sugar and stuff like that. 
Um, and just look at the ingredients list. Like you might as well just feed them a piece of carrot than a carrot flavored piece of like soybean meal, you know? So you just wanna make sure you give them something that's actually very good for them. So I also have these little homemade foraging treats or foraging toys where it's just a paper towel tube. But in the center, I've put my uh, my dehydrated like vegetable mix, and then I stuffed either side with paper towels, so they have to kind of dig at it and smell it to find what's what. So there's a couple of those in there, um, and I also have a toy that I made. I just took a stainless steel skewer thing, which originally was a bird toy, and I stuck a bunch of non-toxic little toy materials on it, and I made my own little toy. So that's on the lit, so that gives them something, just something to do during the day. Yeah, so now I'm going to put him in here so you guys can see what he does. This is Moo Cow. My fiancé named him, so don't, don't uh, think that that was my idea. And of course, you want a running wheel in with mice. So they will go and go and go. And every week I clean out his cage and I wash all of his plastic decorations and his food dishes. Make sure nothing's covered in poo and pee because he will poo in his wheel a lot. And I replace those wooden houses about once a week as well, as he pees on the top.